Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to the tutorial on ISTQB and this is Nish Kumar Singh and you are watching ISTQB Foundation series. We are in chapter 4 and looking at the second topic of the chapter 4 that is black box testing techniques and uh, we have five techniques in which we have covered one as of now and we are looking at the second one which is boundary value analysis. Now uh, equivalence partition generally had one of the drawbacks stating that it can only test one test from each partition and that was a restriction added by the technique where uh, generally the typical mistake what developers may make is from the point where the value changes and generally we call it as boundary values. So it's all about like testing strictly on the boundaries where the partition values are being modified or changed say for example 1, 2, 5 and 6 to 10 then of course uh, there are critical areas like 5 to 6 and 10 to be tested precisely where EP was not allowing us to take more than one value from the each partition. So that's where we decided to create another technique as a part of this uh, understanding that what boundary value analysis would add value to testing uh, these scenarios. So BBA generally tests us strictly on the boundaries and considers stronger than um, the equivalence partition values. <clears throat> the equivalence partition technique as well and uh, whenever you drive so we generally we have say for example we have got a range here and the range uh, we something like this where we have a valid range and left to that there's invalid and right to that there's an invalid then of course we have strictly being tested on the boundaries where we have two values on the boundary from each side that means on the left boundary one inside one outside on the right boundary one inside one outside so we just strictly test these four values then we really don't have to worry about any other value in the entire range or scenario because if these four values are giving the relevant responses or outputs according to the scenario according to the requirement then everything else would really work fine now how these values are being calculated we say it is LB LB minus 1 and RB RB plus 1 where you can see the partition and it says that LB and RB are the one which are valid whereas LB uh, minus 1 and the RB plus 1 will be the invalid and generally we get it as uh, the upper uh, the boundary itself in the scenario which we will just see and understand with help of uh, one of the examples let's quickly move to the example here and understand that what we are talking about a text field in an application accepts input as the age of the user. Here the values allowed to be accepted by the field is between 18 to 30 years, inclusive of both the values. Now I think you will make sure that the question is very clear to you so that you don't get confused. By applying boundary value analysis, what is the minimum number of test cases required for maximum coverage? So all you have to do is convert the scenario into table and fulfill with the old ranges what you can identify from the scenario and it's always a good practice that you put it on the table even if you try to do it virtually you may go wrong because these are the tricky techniques and that is what they want you to do so just put it on the paper and be sure that the value is what you write is going to be the answer anyways we have got four tests being prepared as a part of the scenario and applying the BVA the answer will be four they may ask you something different than just asking you the number of test cases just like you know in equivalence partition we understood the same thing that there are different ways of asking you questions from equivalence partition so let's try the another one here a text field in an application accepts again input as the age of the user and uh, here's the value allowed to be accepted by the field as between 18 to 30 years inclusive of both the values based on boundary value analysis which of the given option consists of valid collection of boundary values now this is what they want to check here is not about minimum number of test cases required. This time they want you to tell me that what are the boundary values. Now of course as you see 18 and 30 is the range. Let's quickly create the table. And we have got these inputs uh, defined here that 18 to 30 being valid and all other things are invalid. Then these are my test cases which will be prepared as a part of applying BBA and the answer is what you have written there that is 17, 18, 30 and 31 which makes it to the third option that is the right answer. Sometimes you know you need to just be careful with what exactly they want to know from you from that particular question. So just uh, be attentive to that. There's another example here which has the same scenario but uh, they can sometimes ask you to combine EP and BBA together and look forward to 
trickily ask you if it is going to be valid values from both of them or invalid value from both of them. So in this scenario, by applying EP and BVA together, which of the given options consist of valid boundary values and valid equivalence value? Now remember that whenever these kind of questions are asked to you, you do apply both the techniques on the same scenario separately. You do not look further to minimize your test cases. Let me just help you with that, what we are talking about. So we have got one range is valid and two invalid ranges where these are my values, the four values are for the BVA. And as per EP, I have these three values. Now, if you see here, I don't really consider that if BVA is already covering this range from two values, doesn't mean that EP should not cover anything because these two are two different techniques and we, we have to consider them one upon the other, okay? It is generally combined, techniques are generally combined to uh, achieve maximum coverage or have a better coverage compared to one technique. In that case, we do not look forward to minimize your techniques further. So as per BBA, you will have four. As per EP, you will have three. So total seven test cases. But what they want to know from you is the valid boundary values and equivalence value that is valid again. So the final answer will be this thing, which is covering within the circle that the two values inside from BBA and one from EP will be valid and the answer is 18, 30 and 25. Where 18 and 30 are valid boundary values and 25 is any other value in that valid range for EP. I hope that was quite clear and is understandable for you. In case you have any other query, you're free to always comment below with your examples or your questions, what you would have come across at any point of time. I'll be there to assist you with more detail on the same. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. I'll be coming up with a lot of other tutorials and techniques in this chapter, which would help you to prepare well for your examination. Anyways, till then, take care, keep learning and keep exploring. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.